just below the surface of everyday life lies the world of primal. Throughout recorded time, the balance between order and chaos has been maintained. But all that is about to change. We have uh, two characters, Arella, who is kind of like a goddess character representing order, and Abaddon is uh, a character representing chaos. And Abaddon has, has decided he wants all of the uh, kind of primal energies in this, this world for himself. So he has broken some kind of eternal laws that exist between the two of them and has set into motion a plan where he has uh, disrupted the balance of uh, order. As far as we see it, it begins with a character called Jen, who is at a nightclub with her boyfriend Lewis. And Lewis is, is playing on stage in a band. Um, but we're seeing this character, this huge demon that's actually tracking Lewis. And by the end of the sequence, this demon has abducted Lewis and has left Jen lying in a coma. Initially, she's just thinking she's in a dream. Is she dead? What's going on? And Scree basically pulls her into the world of Primal, which is full of demons and monsters, and she's basically looking for her boyfriend at that time. Jen and Lewis are different from everyday people in a way that they don't even know. Um, they were both taken away as babies into this world of oblivion, and they were changed such that they have become half demon. They have no idea of these abilities that are kind of lying latent, and it's only when they're both drawn into the game we see the fact that she has the ability to shift into each of the different demon races. What have you done? The character that brings Jen into this world is a character called Scree. He appears to be this, this little gargoyle, but he's actually a much bigger character than he seems. And he is going to be leading Jen on this quest where she has to restore the order in these two kingdoms that have been corrupted. We want to see the relationship with Jen and Scree kind of develop through the game so that they go from Jen thinking that Scree is this funny little guy. Except he looks like a fearsome, impressive creature, and you, well, <laughs> I mean, well, you're you through to the end of the game where she really respects him and has seen that he has this real strength and there's a real respect that develops between the yeah. two characters. Well, you and the big man made a great team. Don't you think so, Rocky boy? That we have a very detailed storyline. It's like a movie, really, where there's a lot of different subplots interlacing between each other. The way we describe characters as well, each character has a backplot. You learn about him, they have a depth. So you've got this big overall story that kind of links Jen into this whole world and then you've got the little individual stories for each of the different realms that Jen has to go in and put the things to rights because chaos is taking over order. So Solem is the first realm that you encounter and it, it's, an, it's a world locked in, in perpetual winter and perpetual night. The world that they live in reflects their, their, their fall from grace. They were a much nobler, much more refined civilization, all of which has crumbled into ruins. We have a race of characters who have a king who is uh, by their, their natural law, he's, he's all powerful. He has to sacrifice himself at the height of his power and pass the uh, kingdom throne over to his, his heir. Um, what has happened in this kingdom is the, uh, the son has been kidnapped, so the player is going to have to bring him back to his, his father so that the, uh, the king can you know, do what he should do, basically, and sacrifice himself, and the natural law there can be uh, restored. Altogether, there are four demon realms that you will explore in the world of Primal. Solem, Aquis, Aether, and Volca. These are the battlefields you will face to restore order to the world. Learn each realm well, or else.